use this almost every time for every question, especially a table-based question. Those are the three things that you need to look at every time. You need to look at which table is relevant. There is only one table. What kind of like time frame are we working with? Is it a month in a particular month or is it 12 month contract? In this case, independent variable categorical. And it is, yeah, you've got company A, company B, company C, company D. Mm -hmm. And the company that we're interested, the only one they ever mention is company A, right? Yeah. So with that in mind, basically a lot of this table becomes irrelevant makes the whole table look a lot more approachable. Yeah. So upfront payment, not going to do anything about that. That's not going to be subject to an increase or anything. That's just 220 pounds. Right? Mm. Okay. But then this is the monthly payment um, now, but we're going to be a due to increase by 4% per year for the next two years. So for the first year that you're in, involved in this contract you'd be paying it not at this price this is what it is this is what it has been you'd be paying it at four percent increase wouldn't you mm. so for i'll just put for the first year for the first year we're going to have to pay it at 26.25 multiplied by what <laughs> this is your chance what are we going to multiply that by if it's going up by four percent each year <laughs> it's an increase <laughs> Yeah. It's going up by 4%. Oh, wait, is it one point? Yes, thank you. One point. So 1.04. There you go. That's your first lesson, wasn't it? That was all what the first yeah. lesson was about. Can you calculate that for me? Work that out? 27.3. 27.3. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. So that'll be £27.30 for that whole year but remember that's the monthly payment so we're going to have to times that by 12 but we'll come back to that so then we go we've got our 27.3 and we're now going to subject that to another four percent increase so we're going to times that by another 1.04 to get to the next year right because every year it says look uh it's due to increase by four percent per year right yeah so what we paid yeah. in this year what we paid in the first year we won't pay per month in the second year so 27.3 times 1.04, 28.4, I think. Yeah. I'm going to round it to like 3.9, isn't it? Of course, because it's money, so we have to to the nearest penny. So 28.39. So you add those. Not add them. We've got to first multiply them by 12 because you got to mm. take. This is just the monthly fee, isn't it? You got to take into account that there's 12 months at this for the first year, right? So you're going to have yeah. to do 12 times 27. 0.30 okay. so do that and I'll do the one on the other side which would be 12 times 28.39 which is going to give 340.70 what do you get 327.6 yeah 327.60 okay all we got to do now, we've got our initial startup, how much we would pay for the total year of the monthly payments, how much we pay for the total year of the se second year for the monthly payments. All you got to do is add all those together now. So I could just put plus signs here and just put your 220 at the front. And yep, off we go. We can see that it's not going to be 500. This just comes down to which one? 220 plus. 327. These are so far apart from each other, the pennies are not going to ma make any difference. So 220 plus 327 plus 340. And yeah, you get 887. You don't have to be, you, you must have seen me do this last lesson. You don't have to be super accurate because the answers are not that close to each other, right? A very basic addition of the 220, the 327, the 340 gets you something that is much closer to 888 than it is to 855. Mm. You just don't, unless you unless it's like 888.30 and 888.42 or something, then of course, yes, I would have to add up all the pennies as well. But no, yeah. don't have to. Is that okay? Okay, yeah.